the home of netball in Papua New Guinea, now the control room for COVID-19 isolation. Government ministers, stakeholders and media were given a tour of the new COVID-19 isolation facility at the Rita Flynn netball courts. The facility itself a milestone, the first to be set up in the country, complete with a swabbing deck to sample symptoms of the virus to a mini emergency area where the deteriorating state of COVID-19 patients can be revived by the emergency team en route to isolation. Inside the netball complex, beds of all the three stages of the virus infection, the mild, moderate and the severe. But for the meantime, severe patients will be directed to the Port Mosby General Hospital. When you get your positive result, diagnosed positive COVID-19, you will be transported into here. And according to your severity, you will be placed on beds. First section that you're all standing in is the mild section. That's currently uh, the beds that you see there, around 20 beds. Behind me is the moderate and beyond that is the severe. Once we get the severe um, meeting international requirements, we can. For now, all our severe cases will be transported to POM General Hospital and be catered for there. Dr. Gary No, manager of the isolation facility, says they will cater for all patients from small children to the elderly and even women in labor. Dr. Gary No says they will not only be utilizing the Rita Flynn facility, which has 76 beds, but they will also be making use of the whole Bissini precinct, which includes the softball field, the rugby union field, and the Bissini soccer grounds. We are also connected to several ovals from here. We have the softball oval, we have the Aussie rules oval, we have the cricket oval, we have the uh, lawn bowls, touch rugby, and rugby union. All have structures built into place, sanitation, water, electricity, lines connected. We can put a helipad in there to bring in heavy uh, tented structures and all of that we need to. If we need to call in international assistance, they will have a space to put down their field hospitals and that. It will be no easy feat managing a facility like this during its peak hours. Although there are doctors and nurses along with community health workers on site, Dr. No says they will need all the help they can get. The skeleton cover for the day as we are now is uh, 13 doctors, 20 nurses and 20 CHWs to start off with. Uh, we are appealing for HEOs to come and join the team uh, and any other nurses to volunteer and come and join the team as well. Uh, we are most welcome. This is the year of the nurse. Um, uh, this is a humanitarian outreach. Uh, if you feel like you want to respond, we are most welcome. But there is one critical aspect that will need to be addressed and that is the availability of ventilation machines, critical for breeding, especially for patients infected with the virus. Dr. No says they need more of them on standby. The limited number of ventilators are in Palm General Hospital and that's a six bed facility already. Uh, outside of that, if we are trying to create an ICU, we are really, really down. So right now we have four transport ventilators and one event that's on standby now. So that event is a, a ward ventilator and uh, Transport ventilators are Oxilog 3000s. Uh, so that we have five in the facility, but of course, what we need, uh, God uh, willing, we'll never need them, but I, I, we're gonna need over 20, just on standby. Fidelis Sukina National, MTV News.